I just did fine. Oh, I'm sorry. I can stay up with you if you... Oh, no. I'll be fine. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine, sorry. All right, it's just a, it's a rough flight and I don't do planes that well. Mm. You don't fly a lot. It's that obvious, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, I fly a lot, so trust me when I tell you that those guys up there, they know exactly what they're doing. Even when it feels rough, even when it's bumpy and terrible, you'll come out of it. Thank you. I'm Grace. Sam. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Um, yeah, thanks for talking with me. That helps. <laughs> no problem. I'm one of those people that thinks that everything happens for a reason, so I'm just glad you're sitting next to me. <laughs> Most of the time when I fly, I'm sitting next to someone that doesn't want to interact with anyone, so this is nice. What do you do? I do staff trainings for a company called Microtech. <laughs> I know, sounds super boring, but basically uh, we develop new technology for mobile devices and I fly around and train the staff about the new products. Microtech. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Funny how you get the job that you have and you build your entire life around it. You don't enjoy your job? Well, I mean, I do. Sort of. I don't know. Up here, you're so isolated. You have nowhere to belong. People ask me all the time, where do you live? I don't know how to answer that. I'm on planes so much that this is what feels like home. This is what's comfortable to me out the window, seeing the wing of a plane soar over a blanket of clouds, disconnected from the world. I don't know. This is what I know now. <laughs> and it surprises you. Um, I, I think it makes us more human, if that makes any sense. Uh, what do you mean? Well, one time I was headed to Houston, and something happened to one of the passengers on the plane, so over the speaker they said, are there any medical professionals on the flight? So this guy pushed the button and got up and ran up the aisle to help the girl. And I don't know, if, if you take people out of their own worlds, we are good people. We help for nothing, for free, just to help. On the ground, those same medical services would have cost a lot of money. Up in the air, you just want to live. Wow. Yeah, and you've done this for a while? Yeah, this is my fifth year. So is this it for you? Is, does that ever bother you? To think like, this is what I'm doing for the rest of my life. At some point, we all have to become adults and buckle down and decide on a few things. We have to have a job, stability, money, and that almost outweighs what we want in life. Well, don't get me wrong.
And if we can't do that as people, then that's what scares me, you know? I think about how we progress as people with our headphones, text messages and technology, social media, isolation, isolation, privacy, until one day you start hearing yourself say stuff like, no, I love being alone. I don't think that's good for us. It's the interaction that makes us stronger. It's the power in what we can do together. Yeah, well. What? Uh, no, you just, the way you talk, the way your mind works, it's exactly what I've been missing. What do you mean? Uh, and I mean, when I, when I look at you, Sam, you with me? Yeah, sorry, um, I just, I feel like, uh, like this conversation, this time with you on this plane matters. We haven't talked about the weather or where you're from or where your favorite sports team is. But isolation, people, home, resonates with me and I, and I just think that we're all like that but for whatever reason we're more interested in putting up our guards with people rather than letting them affect us well said I don't know give me your hand We're all connected, Sam. This life isn't about what we will accomplish. It's about the people we will affect. This is your heartland. We were all built to love, crafted to love. Humans want to create, love, express. It's darkness nears, do not fear them for your garden. It's merely shadows of sheltering clouds up above. This one is your journey, the people you meet along the way, the people you fall in love with, the pain within your journey, the choices you make. May the sunshine dissolve any fear to speak of. This one is your legacy, what you leave for others, your mark.
Can I ask you something? Anything. How do you know you're with the right person? Spending time with the right person? Well, I don't know. But everyone seems to have this idea in their heads of what their lives should look like. I mean, I think there's too much focus on who we all should be with and how many children we should have rather than our actual purpose in the world. I mean, think about it. If life is just about falling in love, to have children then die so they can grow up to have more kids and that can't be it, right? It has to be more. But for whatever reason, all the media and people seem to think about is who they want to be with and what kind of girl or guy they want. Our purpose is just an afterthought on the back burner. see you again. Me too. How was your trip? It was okay. Yeah, it was good. You okay? Yeah. I'm okay. Look like you saw a ghost. Yeah. I think I did. I met this girl on the plane. Her name was Grace. She captured me. Her words. I got this feeling, these thoughts, and, and I've been with Jennifer for a long time. No, how do I know this is right? Do you think it's right? I, I don't know. On the plane, I could actually see my life with grace. I could see it, I could feel it. And I've I was just planning my life with Jennifer. Just taking the next steps kind of mechanically. I just don't know. I just don't know what's right. Come with me. This is your life, son. No one can tell you how to live it. No one. There is no right and wrong, just choices that we make. You just have to be brave enough to live with them. And if you fuck up, I will still be your father. And you will still be my son. You ready? Fear for your garden 
It's merely shadows of sheltering clouds up above. 